Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video here on Minecraft Classic. Today we're finally going to be doing something that I have been wanting to do for a while now. We are finally going to be upgrading our house right here. Now this has been our house for the past six episodes and while it's, it's cozy, it's um, kind of small. Kind of small. Now I am very, very excited. Um, I have a couple of things I'm going to go get. I want to get some cherry wood, actually, because I might want to make this out of cherry wood. I don't know yet. I don't fully know. I do know that I have some oak that I want to collect as well. And I want to go find some cherry leaves because I do like both the leaves and I like the wood. So we're going to start off this episode by going on a mini adventure. So uh, strap along, get your popcorn, and let's take a ride on Rupert, shall we? Do you guys see that in the distance? There is a cherry blossom biome that actually wasn't that far from home. Home was like basically straight that way. We passed a village, but I mean, here we are. We have made it. I am very, very excited to have some cherry leaves. Oh man, I'm so excited. Um, I do also have our brand new axe. And oh, I'm sorry, I forgot that Rupert can't really, really swim over water that well. But it's okay. It's okay because we can now easily scale this let's see how easy it is as a scale a mountain with rupert like i'm expecting it to be much easier than before or without a, a horse and oh yeah look at that it's just insanely easy to do this is just incredible i'm honestly it, this is pretty insane i won't even lie this is actually really really sick and we get here just as the sun sets and i'm really whoa oh my goodness this has got to be the biggest cherry blossom forest I think I've ever seen and there's some land I can see in the distance so I'm very very excited um, let's grab some of these petals here we're not gonna grab too many because we can again bone meal these so that should be fine um, let's quickly just go ahead and break this I remember hopefully it's still the case where you get like a lot of saplings from these oh yeah look at this we've already got two saplings this is going pretty well these haven't even really started to decay that much there's also some bees over here and there's actually a, a couple iron i am actually in need of iron and uh, i will take it and also by the way i did get fortune three on my pickaxe it was another fortune three or i got a fortune three book um whilst fishing the other day um so that was pretty interesting so we're gonna get a ton of all of the stuff Ooh, there is a oh he's right there there we go all right i also did re-enchant my sword it is pretty good um trust me this got this actually was i think i got looting three sharpness four unbreaking three and fire aspect two all in one go and then i just added a sharp four knockback two book that i had um from fishing again and it came the perfect book i do have another mending book i am just waiting to get something better i think i'm gonna wait for diamonds because we don't really we don't have like a mending villager so that's actually gonna be pretty hard to get and yeah look at that we're already up to 12 saplings and you can already see a ton more in here so that is going to be very very nicely now i know that this is supposed to be a house building episode i, I know but i'm kind of wanting it to maybe be like a little bit of an exploration one I do want to save a lot of the exploration for when we get back on Rupert, but I'm I'm very honestly excited. It goes very far. It goes all the way to there. Okay, that's enough of that. That's kind of like uh, the trailer. You know, if this was a movie, that little free cam was the trailer. We're going to wait until we get some more of these and we'll um, ride Rupert and see what the land is like. All right, so I've got around 20 saplings, so I called it there because I think we'll be, ooh, that was scary. I think we'll be more than set with all of these saplings that we have, so I'm very, very excited. So what I want to do now is, again, I just want to kind of look around. This area is really, really nice. Um, I also do need to jot these down in my notes before I before we leave, so I'll have to do that. But this is really interesting. Now, like I said, the petals you can just, um, you know, bone meal. That's pretty easy. I know that we said we're not going to farm anything, although that's like really easy to farm and just look at these caves i'm not gonna look in them because that's cheating but i just want to like look over them really quick i don't know if this is powdered snow with this resource pack i'm still learning what powdered snow looks like versus normal one and i don't want i don't want rupert in here um going into it so that'll be kind of dangerous but this is pretty epic and it does even lead into a the the the, the acacia area over there which is pretty pretty cool Okay, this isn't that bad. I actually, I mean, this is still probably the biggest forest I've ever seen, but, uh, you know, wow, this is insane. Alrighty, I think it's time that we make our way home so I can plant these saplings down. 
Alrighty, what a successful trip back home. That didn't even take that long, so it's nice to know that we have a Cherry Blossom pretty close by. So now that we have the 20 uh, saplings, I'm going to go ahead and quickly place some of them down and let them grow. Alrighty, so we are back. I have a little bit of some cherry logs and some oak logs as well. Now, you guys might remember from a couple eps ago, this uh, lily pad pathway over here. I actually extended it out by one right here so that we could have a little bit extra room to build with. So, I want to build my home right here. Now, the idea, I'm not too sure honestly what my idea is. Um, I do know that I want to have some wood. You guys are going to kind of be with me on this adventure to figure out what kind of house do I truly want. Um, I don't really know. We're going to start off by just building a bit of a platform. I am going to eventually connect it to the ground, but um, for now, we're just going to leave it kind of like this for now. So I'm going to quickly break this because, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how I want to do like the pegs going to the ground. I don't really know yet. We're just kind of uh, winging it, if that makes sense. Um, and you guys kind of get to see more of how I more of how I build in Minecraft I like to think um, so we have this platform here now I kind of want this to be, be more than just like a house on the water if that makes sense right like I don't want it to just be like a house with legs plopped into it I kind of want it to be a bit more than that so I was kind of thinking maybe we can have like a garden area over here well, potentially I, I don't know like I feel like a garden would actually work pretty nicely now I don't know if we have any dirt um, I do hope that we do um, because what I'm thinking of doing is I want to move this, um, or at least some of these here. Well, basically, maybe not move, but at least replicate this rose garden over there. Um, and that's kind of what I want to do. We do have a little bit of dirt, and we even have some grass blocks. Okay, that's actually good, probably from one of the endermen I've tried to kill. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, I do play this quite a lot off camera, um, just to get some progress done. Um, like earlier, I mentioned with the sword. It's just easier, in my opinion, for... Um, me to get progress done as well, and then that way it's, I, I, I don't know, I just, I just do a lot, okay? <laughs> I just play a lot. Um, so I'm kind of thinking we can do something like this. Now I am going to actually make it again once even, and we're going to quickly replace all of these. So I want this distance to stay the same between the lily pad and the, the property. I'm going to say property because I don't really know what I want to do yet. Um, now what I could potentially do as well is maybe I can make like an outline around this if that makes sense so maybe what I can do is do like I don't know maybe like an oak outline or something like that right um, let's actually make a little bit of dirt or, or oak let's make a full even stack like maybe what we can do is just you know put this like right here kind of like do what we did for oh that's not gonna work whoopsies <laughs> um kind of do what we did for the farm area if you guys remember that where we just kind of like do like the frame um i actually don't mind this not gonna lie i think that this looks pretty interesting now i do want to use some of these new cherry logs now obviously these have been out for a while so it's it's not new to me but um i do like the cherry and i'm almost tempted to maybe make this a cherry house instead i actually kind of feel like maybe we should make this a cherry house instead let's see how that would look um, because I actually think it would look really cool. Oh, that does. I really like the way that looks, actually. Okay, maybe we can actually start even growing the grass. I think I'm, I think it's safe for me to assume that that's going to go there. Um, I think this is, like, a kind of good size area right here. I'm not going to lie. I actually do, I do really like it. Um, now I do wonder where, like, the actual entrance of the house should be. Um... Because I don't know how this should work. Maybe we can do something where we do some, like, dirt over here. And then it kind of goes into, like, that's, like, the front door right here. And then it kind of goes maybe something like this as well. And then I'm trying to see. Maybe what we can do is do, like, the entrance to the house here. I'm trying to see. Because, like, I kind what I'm kind of tempted to do is like maybe we can do something where like if we grab just a little bit more of these maybe what we can do is if we like have this raised up by maybe th four right maybe we can have the house just like this entire thing is shaped like the like the the house here if that makes sense right so let's can go here um actually if that's the case what we could do is make this be a staircase here um let me actually quickly place down my workbench i'm gonna place it over here so no grass gets disturbed really quick let's do uh two of these really quick because if we do this 
we might be able to whoops i need to do it like this do 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 and then here this could technically be the entrance of the house if you think about it right if we just do like this although we would need to do like that but technically this could work right and then what i'm thinking is oh maybe actually bring this out by one potentially i think maybe we bring this out by one only because the idea that i have is i want glass to basically be where all like around here i want this to all be glass basically so if we do the staircase we could do kind of it going here um so this would need to go out by one this can go here do 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 like that we can grab these quickly put these here i think it's safe to assume that for now we're going to turn most of these into planks um and then that way that can go there and that can remain there and then this yeah yeah, yeah. this can be inside here so all of this would assume would mostly be grass right so that way what we can do is do like a layer of um glass at the bottom over here right and then that way it's like from the inside of the house we can actually see the bottom so this is like technically the actual floor of the house right here if that makes sense i actually am very much liking this idea oh that actually looks pretty cool in my opinion i, I don't know maybe it looks a bit weird May we can always make it look good okay i like to say that um the beginning of the house you're, you're make, gonna make it look boring okay let's be honest you might the way i like to build is make kind of like the basic boring house and then just improve on it so that's what we're going to be doing for over here i return with a couple of blocks so with me i bring the glass that i wanted to add so at this point in the game remember i don't have silk touch so if i don't like this uh dang it i <laughs> or make a mistake like that then i can't replace it so i actually have to be very very careful with where i place things i have one block that i need to replace which is a little bit uh unfortunate i'm gonna quickly go ahead and get that piece really quick there we go okay now i also bring with me a couple of other things so i have some more cobblestone some cherry leaves and some diorite now diorite is something that i really really like with this combination specifically the polished diorite however i haven't done it before with the normal diorite so let's just quickly i'm not gonna do this but let's just see what would that look like oh that does look really good i'm not gonna lie Oh, I do like that combo. I'm not going to lie. I think it looks better with the texture pack as well. Okay. This is... Uh, I might I might do something with this. I'm not going to lie. I do kind of like the combination between like the cobblestone and the two. Like, I'm honestly a big fan of this. So, what I think we should do is... I'm going to do some kind of interesting thing. So, I'm thinking I want to do a little bit of this white uh, walls over here. Kind of do something going to like here right kind of just as like a you know just in case kind of thing um yeah i do overall really like that so we're gonna quickly just go in here and just make a couple of these really quick yeah like i do really like that i'm almost almost tempted to do something maybe even like this which i think looks really cool i'm not gonna lie that does look pretty insane i do overall like that yeah like i do like that and then what i think we could do potentially is if we put this over here we could if we make some of these i think we should be able to yes we can make a cherry trap door or fence gate sorry um which i do overall like i actually think that that works really really nicely i'm not going to lie um yeah, I'm just I'm such a big fan of that, I'm not gonna lie. Now I'm thinking what if we added these over here? Now you might think that this is going to be a bit, you know, too much pink. I actually like it because of the effect it gives off. I'm not gonna lie. I, I know this might sound, you know, weird or whatever. I'm a big fan of pink. I think it's just a really nice color. Um so I'm kind of tempted to I also want to do something. I wanna bring this here and I actually might want to just quickly replace this whoops i need to put that there and i might do that instead because yeah then i can put the door whoops i want to do this door um where is it nope this door because then that can go there and then that can go right there and then like the torch can go there yeah like i do like that although oh that's gonna have to be interesting um i bet you uh a stair like this would work no okay so we can't do anything there 
Cause yeah, that makes sense because of how the thing is. If we if this was one back, it would work. Wow, um, that's unfortunate. Well, I'm thinking maybe we can do something like this, and then that way this is at least in like a kind of shape ish, I guess you could say there. Um, okay, so we can't do anything about that. Could we? Wow, we can't even do that. Okay. Interesting. The only other option that I can think of at the moment is this. Yeah, that works. Um, I think that's a little bit too much pink. I actually maybe think this is too much pink. Like, I like pink, but I don't want it to be too much. Especially because, like, the rest of the house is going to be it. Maybe we can just do, like, the... Um... Yeah, I actually don't mind it being like that. Uh, this I feel like should still be it because it's kind of like one of the corners. So yeah, that will work there. I think um, I wonder Hmm, don't know if I don't know if I like this or not. I'm not gonna lie Like if we got rid of this really quick because my only concern with it would be I also don't know where that leaf went Okay, my concern is that I feel like like I don't know if it's gonna be too much is the issue um, and I don't really know. Um, I don't think we do it right now, maybe. Or, maybe we can do it as, like, like a, kind of like a, um, uh, like a thing on the outside, maybe. Like, maybe we can do some, like, like a pattern out there with it instead. Actually, that might work, because we can combine it with some green to make it more colorful, I think. And not just pink, because that's the thing. I, f I like the pink, I just don't want it to be too much pink, you know? Um... So, if we can put some torches there, then... Okay, so the way that I want this to work is basically... Maybe we can do something... Ooh. Actually, maybe we don't do this. And there goes my uh, axe. Alright, I am back. Got myself the axe. And I doesn't have efficiency on this one. That's probably why it broke so quick with the other one. Um, but okay, so what I'm thinking we can do... Is maybe we start off with a layer kind of like this now we're probably gonna need more most certainly gonna need more but then what if in between we sprinkled in some cobblestone like every here and there now the idea behind this is saving a little bit on some diorite um, but also just like maybe we can like because if we do that then we can do like little patterns here where maybe it's like this Instead, like it keeps going. Oh, I actually don't mind that. Not gonna lie. And then we can go like there, because then that can go there. We could do like patterns with it. Oh, yeah, I'm a fan of that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of a fan of that. Not gonna lie. Alrighty, so I've added a couple of layers, keeping with the pattern of the diorite and the cobblestone. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really liking this. I'm not gonna lie. I even went down here and did add some. Uh, cobblestone walls to the area over here. I actually need to quickly add some over here really quick. Uh, yeah, I, I do like that overall, I think. I might even do like a 2 wide there. I do like it. Um, it does add some variety to it, and I think, it, I think it's really nice, honestly. I might add one like up here, potentially. Yeah, I do like that. So, what I'm thinking that we can do is, I don't know how high we want to go, because we also do have the challenge of making it look nice as well, because this is kind of, um, it's gonna be a bit interesting to make nice out here, but um, I, I do potentially have an idea now I again, I don't know how high we want to go. I'm kind of leaning towards Maybe we make another kind of section over here have that like a balcony kind of thing um, Okay, I, I don't know maybe well let me, let me let me come up with some ideas potentially Okay, that doesn't look that bad using slabs. Like, I, I actually think I could potentially make it work. Like, if we just go like that and then go over here, what we could easily do is probably just connect it over via this over here. Like, we can, we can probably make that work relatively easily like that. And then that way it has some sort of, like, structural thing there. I don't know. Like, balance, I guess is the word. Um, but I think that that would work. Like, I think... It gets the job done, and I do overall like it, um, and we can easily, like, you know, what I'm thinking we could also do is potentially, we have some of this here, let's grab this, let's quickly grab that, we can do, like, that there, that here, and then we can get some lanterns and put them here, 
And then, yeah, because that way we have floating lanterns. I really want the floating lanterns. Okay, I'm a fan of that now. I'm convinced. So what I also want to do really quick is I kind of want to mirror it maybe. Or actually, I don't think I do. Or maybe this is where we do. I think this is where I want to do um, the normal um, cherry fence maybe. Because I don't think I want to do... Whoops. I don't want to do that much with the... Um, with the, the actual blocks. Like, I do want to do some as well. Involving, uh, like, the cherry fence up here. So, I think what we'll do is we're going to go up here. And we'll just quickly do, you know, quickly put this here. And, yeah, you know, it makes it look nice. You know, I do like it. We have a nice view of the area. Um, which, again, I think is, you know, important that we have. Because um, we're also going to do windows here as well. So, it'll be nice if we can, uh, you know make it look good as well i think what we're gonna do is we're probably just gonna make this be like my bedroom honestly like instead of trying to make this have like because i do plan on doing our own storage room at some point that's disconnected from this so the plan is that the house over there is still going to remain the storage room this is just going to be our like actual like house so we're going to you know decorate it bring the cats over here and whatnot um, down here, we might have, like, our own, like, pet, maybe. I do like to have pet chickens. Uh, I, you know, Eduardo is, obviously, uh, my main chicken. So, I'm thinking of maybe putting him down here. Alright, so I've chucked on a bit of a slab roof. Now, the idea is that I'm gonna, again, sprinkle in some more cobblestone every now and again. You know, we'll do some, like, maybe some interesting patterns. Like, we can even throw some on the edges. Um... And this is kind of just what I'm thinking. Now, I'm still not very good with roof designs. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm st still not my strong point. So here's what I'm thinking that we can potentially do is we might be able to do something like this. So what I'm thinking we can do now is if we get just a little bit more of these outside ones. Okay. What I'm thinking we can do is just do what I always do where I just sprinkle in like one extra layer on the side. Um kind of like that i think we'll start it for now just doing the diorite and then adding in the uh cobblestone later because that's just typically what i do um and then that way it has kind of like a like a little bit of detail if that makes sense you know like it has some has some detail and i i do really like it i'm not even gonna lie that does look pretty cool now we're gonna make a couple um cobblestone ones that way we can obviously um has some here so what i'm thinking we can do is maybe we'll put some like here i'm thinking okay i'm not gonna lie with you guys my cat ash just sat on my right hand so i like can barely move my <laughs> my mouse so we're gonna try and make it work okay um but i'm thinking maybe we can do like something here and then definitely at least two there yeah i definitely think that works oh yeah like i do overall like it now I think an issue that we're having with this is a couple of things. So, I think one of my big issues is... <laughs> From the outside, it kind of just looks like a diorite and cobblestone house just slapped on top of um, like a shape, like a cherry-shaped thing. So, I think the thing that I'm going to do now is I want to try and incorporate some cherry into the outside and also add some detail. Um, because I... I don't know. I just feel like we need to add some cherry to it. Now, we're also going to try and get some other things as well. Mainly, we're going to get some of these. And we're going to make these into the nuggets. And then, we're going to make some lanterns. Which I'm very, very excited about. Now, we also have a little bit of these. I am going to make some panes instead. Because I don't really feel like getting more. So, that's what we're going to do for there. Now, as far as adding more cherry to the side. Like, to the top. This will be quite interesting. Now, I'm kind of thinking... Also, I do want to quickly add the lanterns here. Oh, yeah. I think that looks really, really cool. And then we could do... Oh. Maybe in here we'll do, like, the torches right here. Yeah, I do like that. Okay, so I added some panes over here because I think it adds some light to the room, which, I mean, it definitely does. And then maybe we can add, like, one on each side over here. Um, 
yeah i do definitely like that now one of the main issues that we're having with this or that i'm having at least is i feel like it looks too much like a diorite and cobblestone house just slapped on top of a cherry frame so i want to try to incorporate some cherry going on to the side of the house and i'm not really sure how i'm gonna do it i'm not gonna lie so we're gonna have to try and get creative with this also we do have these leaves here which i do have an idea on how to do um i actually did make a chest and put some stuff away because i was uh it was getting a little bit full in my inventory so what i'm thinking we can do is i do have an idea so we have a lot of this over here let me grab some cobblestone really quick oh we're gonna have to like can we not there we go okay i was gonna say um so let's quickly over go over here and i want to see Let's just do this really quick. And I want to go over here. I do have an idea, like, right here. Now, what I'm kind of thinking we can do is do something like this. Right? Where it'll go kind of all the way around. And then we can do, like, a two there. We can go here. Right? We can go here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. boom, boom. Maybe, like, a three. Go down a bit. Go up. And around, down over here, up, up over here, down there. Actually, maybe that doesn't look good. Maybe we can do like here and then there. Yeah, I think that looks way better. And then we get to here. Now, I don't really know what we should do as far as making it go around the, the top. But what I'm thinking we can do is also sprinkle in a little bit of some greenery here. That way it just looks a bit like... You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it adds some, like, coolness to it, right? Because it's, like, it's not just it's not just pink. It's also, like, a bit of green. And then what we can do is on the bottom of some of these here, or maybe not, like, right there. That looks a bit weird. But what we can do is, like, maybe, like, here we can go here. Um, or actually, maybe we can go, like, here. And then maybe, like, here we can go a bit down like that add some like real shrubbery here over here definitely do like something here and then i really think we should maybe like do that instead and i kind of want this to be like touching the water and then here we can do like a two one going down over here we can definitely do like some some leaves going down um definitely need to have one here at least in the corner for sure um, definitely like down here and going down that way. Like, I think it just adds some coolness to it. Like it, it makes it feel like there's life to this rather than just whatever it is. And like, watch, I bet you once we get rid of the, the cobblestone thing that we made on the outside, you guys will also see it. So let's just quickly break all of this really, really quickly. And we're just going to as well quickly break that and then put that back. And then watch. Yeah, I bet you it'll look so much better um, from the outside. Let's quickly go into free cam. Yeah, I do like that. I'm not going to lie. I do like it. I feel like it almost makes up for the fact that it looks like just something was plopped on the top of it. I'm not going to lie. Now, I wonder if we can add some more to, like, the outside over here. So, let's quickly grab the axe. Like, I wonder if we can maybe go to, like, over here. If we can, like, make it wrap around here. And then do maybe something like that. And then let's quickly just do that. Add We can also add some green as well if need be. I don't know. I feel like what we need to do actually is go around and just add more, um, add more texture to up here. Because I feel like some of these, like it's too kind of flat if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like we need to do some... Yeah, like, we need to make it, like, kind of detailed, if that makes sense, right? And then we can do up here. We can do one kind of going there. Um, ooh, we actually are in need of more of these. Let's quickly go over here really quick. I am in need of more uh, leaves. I did put some in here, thankfully. Um, and then, you know, we can just go, like, over here, over here. 
Uh, maybe we can have one for the window, although I don't really feel like we should do one, like, at the window spot, per se. But then maybe we can easily do, like, like that and then like that. And I think that actually looks perfect, not gonna lie. Like, I am definitely a fan of that. I also added a door here, but I actually am not a fan of the door there. I think we should add it here instead. Um, because then what we can do is add the thing over here. Yeah, I'm definitely a fan of that instead. And then we can add, like, the torch there. And yeah, that works and we'll add one even here too. Yeah, like I do like that. I'm not gonna lie And then what I was thinking we can do is we can just add this here right because It looks kind of cool, I guess um, so that one we need to go to the side over here for and Go out the back quickly to go here. Yeah, we're gonna add the glass there too just because it makes it look pretty cool I think So, I've done a couple of things. I added a little bit of glowstone beneath the house because it, there was actually a lot of drown that was spawning, preventing me from sleeping. And, I mean, I built this house so I can sleep, so that was kind of a big thing. So, I did that, quickly went to the nether. It took me, like, five minutes, maybe. Um, so, I was able to do that. I've also decided to keep the house floating. I kind of like the idea of it being, like, a floating house in the, the pond. Um, I think it just adds more to the the uh, environment of this house don't ask how it makes sense um, I'm not here to explain that that's someone else's job but that's what we decided to do so that is pretty much this video so what did you guys think let me know in the comments did you guys enjoy this video uh, what do you guys think of the house do you guys think it reflects my personality uh, do you guys think I should tear it down and build a completely new one I, I don't I, I can take I can take the, the, the hurtful words don't worry if you guys hate it just let me know in the comments I want your honest opinion so that being said thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you all in the next one